it's going to be your first international game since the World Cup. How have you found the break? Yeah, it's been nice to have some time away. Um, it gave us an opportunity to, to focus on other things aside from cricket and then to come back fresh and, and to focus on what was ahead of us. Um, and this ODI series against the West Indies is the next round of the ICC Championship, one that we're really looking forward to. We definitely want to go over there and gain as many points as possible. We know it's going to be a tough series, but as every tournament, we welcome that. How important is it uh, for this to be part of the Women's Championship? Yeah, it is really important and we were very disappointed when we went over to the World Cup to not get over the line against the West Indies. That was one game we targeted and it came very close but just didn't go our way in the end. Um, so for us now to have the opportunity to go over there, play against them on home soil will be tough. But as we proved when we went over to Pakistan, if we put in the performances that we want, we'll come away victorious. It's going to be such a busy summer. What are you looking forward to most? Yeah, we obviously have the Australia series when we get back. We haven't really really look too closely at that yet and um, we're just focusing on this West Indies series but then again after the Australia series we have a series against Holland so it is quite busy which is great a couple of new faces in the squad so it'll definitely give them an opportunity throughout the summer to go out and wear an Irish jersey which is such a proud moment and we'll be right behind them when that happens. I've had a little bit of a break it'll be your first international game since the World Cup what have you been working on in the interim? Uh, we felt coming back from the World Cup there were really clear things that we needed to get better at. I think you know the, the girls would say the same thing that our fielding wasn't good enough out there and probably cost us a game against the West Indies. You know, being honest, so you know we would have loved to have won that game and, and got off got off that duck in, in, in World Cups for the women's team, but uh, it didn't happen. And I think that was down to the fielding. So we've had a huge focus on trying to get better in that arena. You know, probably not used to the the, the, the teams hitting the ball as hard or the sort of angles of the balls coming at. So trying to recreate that in practice, albeit that's not the easiest thing to do but really good commitment from the from the group about trying to improve and then you know just West Indies specific stuff they have some good spinners and they, they have taller bowlers so trying to re again recreate that on, on the machines maybe a bit more back of a length and again trying to guess what's going to come our way um, and just with the ball just trying to get the loads up obviously we're coming out of our winter and, and some of the girls obviously as I said studying and coming off exams and things like that so just trying to get that um, uh, load those loads right before we head away Will it give you confidence the fact that you did run them so close in the World Cup? Yeah we felt like we should have won that game you know we felt like we should have got 15 20 more runs and then but even the score we got if we taken our chances I think we would have won it comfortably and I think most people watching would say the same thing you know they've a couple of really dangerous players. they're a good team obviously but they have a couple of really dangerous players and Hayley Matthews their captain obviously won the game in that one um you know she's a big player for them and we we've, we've spoken a, a good bit about her um but yeah we do we do have confidence I think we've a really good team we've really good cricketers it's just getting that little bit of belief early on in the series hopefully and and hopefully getting off the duck again in the ODIs we haven't got a win in the in the women's championship yet um, albeit our T20 cricket's been quite good so you know so the ODIs come first and, and we'd love to, to obviously win both series uh, but that first game is obviously huge So Amy uh, you're still only 17 how are you adapting to cricket at this level? Yeah I think obviously loads of things kind of contribute to it but obviously with such a great su support system and um, with our support staff obviously so much experience there and I think just kind of uh, learning from some of the se more senior players kind of how to adapt with skill and kind of everything all together. So how are you juggling everything right now? Um, thankfully I'm actually finished school now so it's a little bit easier but um, during exams yeah I had to restrict my cricket a little bit just for a couple of weeks so then uh, obviously do finish the exams and then get back into it. I'd say that was difficult given how much you enjoy it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it took a bit of persuading, but then obviously it was only a couple of weeks in the end, so I was happy enough. The summer ahead is going to be pretty manic. Um, you have lots coming up and you'll have Australia when you do get back from the West Indies. What are you looking forward to most about it? Yeah, I think to be honest, just playing loads of cricket. Um, obviously being off school helps and then just being able to train and play as much as I can and kind of see where the team can go this summer.